Hello and welcome back to School of Experiments. Today we will discuss about measurement of length using vernier calipers. My friends, while we are using measurement of length, we used, we learnt about different instruments like tape or like a scale where you can measure the supposing length of this board as let us say 916 mm as 916 mm supposing if I want to measure thickness of this particular book then probably I can use the scale and measure using this putting like this let us say something like that some like 6 mm thickness of book is 6 mm supposing I asked you to measure the thickness of one page using the scale how will you measure because this scale can only help you to measure minimum of 1 mm below that you cannot measure using this scale so what should I do now so there was a French scientist in the 17th century invented an instrument called vernier calipers this vernier using this vernier calipers you can measure less than 1 mm okay so we will see how this particular instrument is designed as I shown you in the figure here this is what is called a main scale okay this is this is known as the main scale which is shown again in the millimeters okay which is nothing but same scale like this if you put parallelly same 150 mm 150 mm you can see okay and this vernier has two jaws okay two lower jaws of course and two upper jaws and it also has a, a rod coming out here moving with this particular scale so the scientist what he did is he did a very simple logic supposing there is a scale I divided 9 divisions into 10 divisions that means this scale is smaller than this scale this scale what we known as main scale okay this scale is known as vernier scale okay now if I divide 9 divisions that means 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and this is 10 that means up to here 1 centimeter that means it is 10 mm 1 centimeter is nothing but 10 mm now this 9 mm is divided into 10 divisions that means one main scale that means one main scale division one main scale division is what one division here okay that is 1 mm so now 1 msd that means main scale division is how much 1 mm so 1 msd is equal to that means how many msds we have taken here 9 msds we have taken here is how many we have divided them into 10 10 vsds that means vernier scale divisions so now 1 VSD is how much? 
we will do the cross multiplication and by 10 which is equal to 9 by 10 which is equal to 9 and 9. That means each division each division is instead of 1 mm it is 0.9 mm now. So now now if you calculate the least count which is nothing but 1 msd minus 1 bst which is equal to 1 mm of main square division is 1 mm minus 1 division of this is 0.9 mm which is equal to 0.1 mm. Now if I set up a scale like this like this dividing 9 divisions into 10 divisions my least count is 0.1 mm. That means using this type of arrangement I can measure either 0 0.1, 0 0.2 or 0 0.3 or 1.1 or 1.2 or 2.3 or 2.4 or any any fraction after the first digit is possible to measure now. Supposing I want more accuracy now. What should I do? I have a vernier calipers having 0 0.02 mm as my least count. Okay. To achieve that, what he did is in this particular vernier, he has taken 49 divisions here. 49 divisions divided into 50 vernier scale divisions. As I told you, this is the main scale and this is the vernier scale. So what happens now? <coughs> I will show you here. So now we will change this calculation. That means I have taken 49 division MS main scale divisions. That means 49 and divided into 50 vernier scale divisions. So one vernier scale division is if we do the cross multiplication 1 by 49 and this becomes 50 and this becomes 49 and this becomes 50 which is nothing but 0.98 mm. That means the accuracy increase now. So least count now if you calculate 1 mm minus 0.9 mm gives 0.02 which is nothing but the least count that is written here in small letters, in very small letters, you see. Okay, so I will do the experiment now and show you. Supposing I want to measure the diameter of this particular pen, I can hold like this or if I want to measure the width of the scale, so I can put like this and measure. So like this you can use for any object. If I want to measure this pen, this thing. For example, I want to measure the inner diameter of this cap. So I, using the top jaws, okay, internal jaws, what you call them, I can put like this. I can put like this and measure. Take it. You understand? And uh, supposing I want to measure the depth of this particular cap using this pointer, okay, using this pointer, I can put like this and stop here and then I can see the reading here, okay. But how to see this reading now, we will see. So whenever you measure anything with this vernier calipers, this particular, that means this particular vernier scale is moving and this zero is this zero is matching with some number on the main scale okay some this zero is crossing or matching with the, some reading in the vernier scale so what happens now i'll show you on the board to be very clear That means this scale, this vernier scale, let us say it has come here after putting 
your object here. I, for example, I put some object here. So this has 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, of course, uh, we will draw more, 8, 9, and 10. Correct? So what happened now? Supposing this 0 is in between this, this is 8, this is 9. So in between 8 and 9. That means my length of the object is definitely more than 8 mm but less than 9 mm. We need to find out accurately what is the now. So what I will do now is I will look for here suppose this particular 6 is matching here. Okay. Then 8 plus 6 into 0 0.02 I will multiply and the length of the object will become 8 uh, such 12 that means 8 plus 6 into 0 0.12 that is equal to 8.12 mm this is how we calculate and find out the length of the object it can be 